The Air Force's Global Hawk RQ-4A has been providing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance in Southwest Asia for over five years. This uh, fine aircraft here uh, is slated to uh, leave the Air Force inventory. Uh, this is going to be the last combat sortie uh, of the RQ-4A. Maintainers become really attached to their airframes. And for the, the younger guys who have only known Global Hawk, um, they see something that they first learn how to be mechanics on, uh, you know, going away. I'm a little sad to see, see them go, um, but the, the newer airframes will bring a more efficient mission to, uh, to our warfighters on the ground, and uh, that's, that's always a good thing. With Sir Hawkeye and Texas Bad Player. The RQ-4A's departure is a sad day for some, but its farewell welcomes the future of the RQ-4B. Um, our new B model is going to give us a lot of um, extra capabilities that we didn't have here with the A, just more uh, better modern technology with a lot better ISR capability. We're going to be able to stay out longer range, and uh, we're also going to be able to go into different environments we weren't able to go to before. Only two nights later, the RQ-4B arrives for the first time in Southwest Asia. The Global Hawk community is pretty excited about, about the newer airframes coming here. Uh, with the newer airframes comes newer uh, capabilities. And we, once again, will have the opportunity to showcase what we can do uh, more efficiently. From Southwest Asia, I'm Senior Airman Michael Cowley.